All right, so here we have a 2016 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, we have a dead battery that we're going to be replacing. So the battery uh, location in a Grand Cherokee is underneath the passenger seat. All right, so we're going to go ahead and remove our seat to get to our battery. Uh, we have two little covers in the front that we're going to need to pop off. So we'll just slide the seat as far back as we can. We can pop off our covers. Have a 15 millimeter socket. Okay, so next we need to get a, our bolts on the rear of our track. So I'm going to go ahead and slide the seat all the way forward. All right, we'll go in the back door. Okay, so now we want to pop our covers off on our rear track. All right, so now we have our seat track bolts out. We want to go back up to the front. All right, so now we have our seat loose, like we could pick it up. All right, so if I was going to take the seat out, I do have an electrical connector underneath that we'll get to, but we would need to remove the seat belt. There's a T50, a Torx bit uh, T50, holding in the uh, seat belt to the seat. I'm just going to rotate the seat back uh, to access the battery, but we do have we do have our electrical down here, so if we pick it up, all right, so we need to uh, remove this wire here. So we have one hole down over here, so we just kind of wiggle it out. Our connector, so we just want to pull down on our... Oh. out of our mount there. Oh, good. Oh, hold on. We'll put that back here in a second. All right, so I just want to, I'm just going to try to rotate the seat backwards. Go ahead and put this back real quick. All right, so now I have this cover here. I'm just going to go ahead and pull the cover up. All right, so here's our battery. All right, so we have our positive and negative. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to remove the negative first. And that's a 10 millimeter. Set it aside. I'm just concerned about it touching this side here. It is also the negative side. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do our 10 millimeter here. So I'm, it's like I'm pinched right here but underneath this, but I'm going to go ahead and remove our vent. All right, this is our vent for our battery. So I'm going to go ahead and un, undo our vent line. Let's see what we can do here. All right, just lift our battery up. doesn't look like there's any hold downs to it. All right, so here we have our new battery. We're going to transfer over our vent tube. All right, so we're just going to pull it out. Just move it over. All right, so now we'll go ahead and put the uh, new battery in its location. 
All right, so now we're ready to put our new battery in. Uh, what we want to do is get the side of the battery's lip underneath this battery, and then it will slip into underneath that lip as the hold down. All right, so we want to go ahead and place our battery in. All right, then we'll go ahead and connect our positive side. Make sure our negative's not touching. Our vent line. All right, so now we're ready to put our cover back on. All right, and then we have our seat controls and our airbag. So when, once I put the seat down, we'll go ahead and put our hold down back in. So we just go ahead and set it back down. We want to make sure that we don't get our cord stuck underneath our track. So we'll go ahead and get our seat track bolt started. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it just hand tight. I'm going to go ahead and push the seat forward and uh, do the same thing to the rear. All right, so now we'll go ahead and put our rear bolts in. All right, we'll go ahead and tighten our bolts up. Push down our covers. Now we'll go ahead and do the front. We'll go ahead and slide our seat back. Tighten up our front mounts. All right, we'll go ahead and put our covers on. All right, and we're all set with the uh, battery replacement.